Actually, the resident doctors are on strike, but it is the National uh, Association of Resident Doctors that actually asks the, all the resident doctors under the federal government institutions to go on strike. Here we are a state institution. We have our own peculiarities and uh, we believe that our own problems should be addressed by the state government, which we have firm belief that the state government will, will, will address our own grievances that are peculiar to us here. Some of the challenges that we have here is one, the, there are issues concerning the, the salaries of uh, doctors, resident doctors, especially the new doctors that have been employed up to now they have not been uh, they have not been given their salaries for months about five three four four five months now and there are also house officers that are still yet, yet to start receiving their own salaries and uh, the our own association of resident doctors have informed us that they have sat with the commissioner of health of the state and other stakeholders and have informed them that they are on it and they will do whatever they can to see that they have addressed those problems. That is why we are not on strike one and second reason is that we are not federal institution and we have firm belief that our own problems that are peculiar to us will be addressed by our own state sooner. No, because we are under the employment of the state government. So we are not, we are not partaking in the strike. As I said, we are not under the employment of the federal government. And as a body, we decided not to partake in the strike for now. So every other health institution, the facilities and the um, environment for work is not conducive. And just as our other colleagues are also fighting, the hazard allowance is nothing to write home about also. And then even the conditions for service is very poor. Our appeal, which they are aware of, is our remuneration, which is very poor. I would like them to look into that. Not only the doctors, the whole health workers as a whole. And then they have to put in more effort in the health sector for the whole country as a whole. The ongoing strike is unfortunate. And it shows us as a nation, as a, 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 a serious nation. Because I don't, we don't know how on earth you allow a, a, a sector like this eh, to go on strike. Maybe because our political leaders, uh, they don't treat themselves here. We have a lot of people here that they cannot go to private hospitals. Eh? The only the little one that they can try to afford. And you allow them to go on strike. Well, and it's very sure that people have given them notice before. And now they are telling us they are, they, they are going to meet them. Uh, it's very, it's very, very a sign of unseriousness on the part of our leaders. And they call it, call it they, they, we, we don't mind to them. If we are really mind to them, they won't have allowed this kind of strike to, 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 to begin, for instance. And just example, our president, uh, he just jet out now for medical treatment. Uh, so the poor continue suffering. It's unfortunate. We are seeing a, 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 a serious mess in this country, not only on health sectors. Why will you allow people to go on strike before you start working there? Thank you.